So, Josephine, let's put a timestamp on today. How mm -hmm. far are you into filming, and what exactly did you guys film today? And I want to note this is going to be embargoed, so like, feel free to discuss openly like right. what you're going to be. It. Yes. Uh, <laughs> we're about three weeks into shooting okay. with a five-week schedule, mm -hmm. and today we were doing all the Seattle hotel stuff. So yes. it's when. Uh, Tess is on her first day of an internship at a publishing company mm -hmm. and she goes all the way, she's whisked off to Seattle and she's taken out to a club and events ensue. Yeah. So what was the last scene you shot in After and then what was the first scene you shot in After We Collided to I, give us some perspective? I don't know whether officially this was the last scene we shot, but the last scene we shot was the aquarium sequence of the montage. Oh, uh, so cute. And the first scene that I shot in after we collided was me standing behind a curtain reacting to something. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I'm a huge fan of the books. I've read all the books. Um, I know you have as yeah. well. Have you read all of them? Yeah. Or Okay. So obviously, like, it's kind of more of an R rating in yeah. the books. The first film was rated PG-13. We have an R rating the second time around. Has it been tonally different on set for you now that you have an R rating in the sequel? Yeah, and I and I think a lot of that is because of our director, Roger Campbell. Um, Amazing. There's a <laughs> lot more. There's a lot more humor in this film. There's a lot more intensity in this film. There's swearing because we're allowed to swear now because it's R rated. So <laughs> yeah. there's definitely been a tonal shift, and I think everyone's felt that. Right. So. Um, Obviously, after like the major worldwide success, you guys winning your three Teen Choice Awards, what was the reunion like for you and Hero when you got back on set for After We Collided? I, I'm trying to remember the, <laughs> what we actually, when the first time, I can't remember if it was at the hotel or if it was at like rehearsals, but it was base. I mean, it was basically, hi, how are you doing? It was nothing dramatic with, with flowers and, and, and You're right. And, I haven't seen you out of Yeah. Months. Yeah. Exactly. Um, <laughs> you're like, it wasn't dramatic. We're just like, hey, what's up? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so obviously with the emotional events that ended in the first movie, Tessa's in a super like deeply emotional state for the sequel. Mm. So I'm wondering like when you and Hero are doing some of those particularly emotional scenes, mm. when Roger yells cut, do you like immediately go back into Josephine or do you have to like take a bit to kind of like... Well, due to the uh, downtime. Honestly, we haven't gotten into a lot of the super emotional stuff in this yep. film yet. So okay. uh, we've been lucky in that respect, but the stuff we've done so far, it's not... Um, yeah, I haven't... I don't really require like that much of a transition period. It, it sort of depends. Sometimes you want to stay in it if it's a really emotional scene and you're shooting it over like 12 hours. But if mm -hmm. uh, it's only sort of emotional when you're doing it over two hours uh, right no, so yeah it was it's not hard to to answer your question it's not hard to like snap back snap into. back and forth yeah right well tessa's uh, last question tessa's obviously like she thinks she knows what she wants in life until she meets harden yeah. and i'm just wondering like is there something about tessa that maybe you like took with you after the filming of the first movie is something about her that like sticks with you what are you going to say physically like, oh yeah. Did work. you? No. <laughs> I don't know if you've already been asked that. <laughs> um, no, oh, what, did I, what have I taken from her? I think. Like anything from maybe like Hardin's room or something, or like maybe like a wardrobe piece or something there that you was, took? There was a really gorgeous green slip dress that she was going to wear. I was like, I don't remember that in the movie. No, because no, she was going okay. to wear it for one of the for one of the scenes, the wedding scenes, and it was tailor-made, and it was like oh. custom fit to me, and they didn't end up using it. They used another so dress, I, yeah. yeah. so I got to steal that. Oh, but, perfect. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's the only th I mean, emotionally, what have I taken? Yeah, that's like... probably the more interesting answer. <laughs> um, I, I just maybe, like, her sense of confidence. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I think that's a good lesson for everyone to take, just, yeah. just be who you are and don't be afraid to... to be yourself and make choices and yeah yeah well thank you so much for your time you go I won't know that you're like I'm so exhausted I'm gonna get back to my like trailer <laughs> and chill for the rest of the day I'm gonna get a glass of wine I'm, myself I'm just so sorry we only had four minutes <laughs> no it's fine Jeez. I'm happy that you like gave me any time at all like, <laughs> so because I know you've had like such a long day so I no, really appreciate course, it yeah. yeah no I appreciate it yeah thank you. thank you thank you so much it was cool to interview you in your club dress